First Chronicles 16, they brought the ark of God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And they presented burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before God. After David had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each Israelite man and woman. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord to make petition to give thanks and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief. Zechariah, second. Then Jeliel, Shemariah, Jehiel, Mattahiah, Eliab, Beniah, Obed-Edom, and Jeiel. They were to play the lyres and harps. Asaph was to sound the cymbals. And Beniah and Jehaziel, the priests, were to blow the trumpets regularly before the Ark of the Covenant of God. That day, David first committed to Asaph and his associates this psalm of thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord in his strength. Always seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. O descendants of Israel, his servant, O sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. When they were but few in number, few indeed, and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no man to oppress them. For their sake he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm.